Today we'd like to talk a bit about base running, specifically what we call hard 90s, culminating with breakdowns at first base. As a coaching staff, we believe it's our responsibility to make sure our high school players arrive in college baseball understanding what it means to give a hard 90, to sprint all out in that 90 foot space between home plate and first base on any ground ball that fails to find a hole. And how are we supposed to expect our players to give a hard 90 if we don't teach it and we don't practice it? Here's what a hard 90 between home plate and first base looks like in our program. You'll see here the defense records the out at first base 15 feet in front of our runner. Does our runner slow down before reaching first base? Does he hit first base and then sort of meander casually out toward the right field foul pole? No, we are way more intentional than that. He sprints through the front edge of the bag, widens out with his feet, breaks down with chopped steps to halt his momentum, enabling a change of direction towards second base, and he anticipates a potential overthrow by looking to his right. That's every player on our team on every repetition, whether the defense makes the play in front of us or not. Let's see that again at full speed. There are three major reasons why this is so important. Number one, again, this instills in our players what it means to play hard. And college baseball programs want players who understand what it means to play hard. Two, it puts a ton of pressure on the defense when they know we sprint all out on every batted ball. The defense knows it has to rush to make clean plays because we're not messing around on any batted ball. We're getting to first base. And three, we get so many free bases on overthrows because it's ingrained in our hard 90 technique to anticipate overthrows at all times. So this is how we drill it. You'll notice I'm the coach on the left side of the screen. Our runners are in three lines drilling breakdowns at first base. If I point to the ground, that simulates an overthrow, and they hit the front of the bag, widen out with their feet, break down, and make a left turn towards second base. If I don't point to the ground, they just break down using proper technique and then get back in line. The great thing is, is when you make this a core value in your program, I don't even have to coach it. Our seniors, our returning 11th graders, if there's a younger kid who doesn't hit the bag and break down or sprint through the bag, they are all over him. One thing they love saying to our guys is, that's not how we do things here. You know you have a culture in place if your players are saying that to other players. That's not how we do things here. I never have to talk to my players about giving a hard 90, hitting the, bra hitting the bag, breaking down and looking to the right because they're policing each other because that is a core value in our program and we practice it all the time. <laughs>